Hello and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm helping a friend. You don't see him in this video, but I am working on um, doing a bunch of welding, uh, getting these um, these poles set up. Now this is just a cap for the pole, so no water could get inside uh, once the structure is put in. Now. We welding it on and we had to have the cleanest uh, the the most cleanest um, look to these because they were going to be uh, hot dip galvanized now I I'm crude when I do stuff I'm crude And while I was listening to podcasts while I was doing this, so most of this video is muted. Now, what I mean is um, my friend wanted a better finish to him, so he went back and grinded and smoothed all that stuff out a lot better than I did. Um, I don't have the patience to do a lot of that. Sometimes the older I get, the less patience I have. So these here, I'm uh, welding the uh, plates on the bottom. And here, these are for the top. So there's four poles and then there's four beams that intersect with each other. We had to drill out all the holes and get them so that they all uh, line up. Now the poles are different lengths, but the contractor that is um, erecting the structure had set everything all up already. There's never enough time in the day, actually. got some issues I've got issues we all have issues got a weld bra break bracket braces inside I'm gonna stop sanding right now I'm gonna just weld that's what I need to do as well I just need to weld getting cold, it's getting tired. Okay, so the beams on the skid steer are the width and the beams that I'm working on there are the length. So it's 11 by 20 feet long. 11 feet wide by 20 feet long. So I'm going through welding um, spacers inside so when we put it together it fits tight. Smell hamburger. It's probably me. I'm probably burning. Oh, my back. I have no idea why I take on jobs like this where I know it's going to hurt my back. I just, I just don't know why. I'm going to go to the other end of the pipe, weld that all up, and then I'm going to call it a day. So. So here are the beams, they're kind of all spread out all over the place. This is right before he picked them up and took them to the galvanizer. 
Okay, and so now these are the photos that uh, my friend took while the contractor had put these together. See how nice and clean? Turned out pretty nice. Now that stuff there in the front there is for gates. He had made the panels while I was working on welding uh, the, the poles and the cross members and all that stuff. Okay, that's it for this video. I want to say thanks for watching and uh, please uh, hit that uh, subscribe button. Thank you.